Well, I believe that the revolution in, in education already happened. It takes time to fill the, the gap that was in Afghanistan. Uh, total uh, darkness, if I may say. Uh, now I think the main challenge is to have more uh, women teachers in uh, rural areas. In cities we have uh, uh, not enough, but uh, at least uh, a number that, we, that can satisfy the needs of education here. In rural areas, I think the Ministry of Education has a plan to increase the salary uh, of, uh, of uh, rural teachers and also give them plots of lands and uh, some other advantages so they can move outward from the cities and fill the gap. But the salaries do seem very, very low, difficult to encourage teachers to take a job when they're only going to be getting 100 to $200 a month. So how do you encourage them with such low salaries? Well, at this point, it's, uh, if not impossible, it's uh, very difficult to encourage them to go to areas like Farsi, which is the farthest uh, uh, district in Herat province. But if you go there, the number one priority of the people is the schools, and that's girls' schools. So uh, it's a, a, a big challenge. What difference does it make to a society like Herat when women, girls, are able to take advantage of education? I think no nation, including Herat, can... Uh, get out of poverty without including 50% uh, of its uh, power, which is the woman. And in Herat, they have proven that they can be the uh, wheel of the change in the society. Uh, okay, just one last question then, Governor. In terms of the job of opportunities that will then exist for women in places like this, there is still this cultural barrier that prevents women doing much more than being mothers, I think. Uh, I agree with you, but let me quote one old man from Adraskan district, which is one of the very backward districts in Herat. Uh, when I met him, he told me that governor, in the 60s, we, the governor of Herat during the king time used to come to Adraskan and ask us to allow to, for the government to build boys' schools. But now we are coming you and we are begging to build the schools and girls' schools. So you see the change in the perception of the, of the community in regards to education. I think that's very encouraging.